Hello fair viewers, this is the Immortal Lamp Frost, and today I'm going to show you how to increase your FPS in TF2, CSGO, Left 4 Dead, or any Source Engine game for that matter, even Empire's mod, even though no one ever plays that game anymore. So, first thing that you want to do is go into your Steam client and find the game that you're trying to run better. Let's go to properties and set launch options. And most of the section doesn't matter anymore because of the second part of the tutorial. But the two things that matter are these two things I'll leave in the description. This will, it, it will not uh, affect your graphics level at all whatsoever but it will increase your FPS by about 10 or 20. And then the second thing is direct level, DirectX level 8.1. It will make your game run at DirectX level 8.1. Run, run, <coughs> 8.1, I'm sorry, I cannot speak this morning. DirectX level 8.1 instead of 9. Now what this will do is that it will make some textures unseeable, but it will only be unnecessary textures, such as like like alternate such as alternate textures. It's kind of hard to explain. You should just try it out for yourself. It will not break your game, I promise. And something else I almost forgot was this right here. This doesn't have to be 600 by 480. Just put in your resolution that you want to play your game as. This is the fastest resolution, and that's why I have it. Second thing is go into your browser and go to the link I have in the description. And you will see a portal 2 config and a tf2 config if you do n if the game you're trying to run is neither of these games then get the tf2 config normally such as if you're getting left for dead or counter strike or something get this not this this is specifically only for P portal 2 so get this tf2 config and it will ask do you want to keep this yes i do want to keep it like the funny thing is it's one since i've this is the second or third take of my tutorial. So, uh, go to the properties again. Go to local files and click browse local files. And, uh, what's it? What is it? I think it's TF. Yes, so go to Team Fortress 2, TF. CFG, which stands for config, and you already see I have an extra one here. So, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm going to delete this. And so, let us go and. Uh, what am I thinking? Let's go to users, downloads, and you will see the config that we just downloaded. Let's just drag this entire config into this. Now, as you see, it was not named TF2 config when it was in here, but instead it was named Auto EXEC. It has to be named that, otherwise it will not work. Now, if you actually look into this, you will, you will see that it is not anything special. It is just a very long list of console commands. What this is actually doing is it is telling the game to execute all these console commands before the game starts running. In fact, this might not actually be why some things I see are, de are um, detextured. It could actually just be this. But it will not be anything. It will not uh, get rid of anything necessary, but it will get rid of um, all the little things in the game. And it, I'm just saying it will certainly be still playable, so do not worry about it. So, let's just close that, and now the audio EXCC is in here, and if you are not doing Team Fortress 2, 
then just look for a file that has 360 controller and 360 controller Linux. In fact, if you're trying to find it, then one thing you can do is also some games come pre-installed with Auto EXEC, so you can just go to this folder and then you just type Auto EXEC, and then it will try to find something. Or you could put 360 controller. And I see that popped up very quickly. So now the game is all is almost ready to run. Now the second thing that we're going to do is actually go into our computer properties. Go to computer, right click it, and click properties. Go to advanced system settings. And it may ask for your, um, what's it called, administrator password. And you will see advanced performance. Go to advanced. Go to performance. Go to settings. Normally it will be like this. But what you want to do is cl first click adjust for best performance, and then click use visual styles, and then smooth edges of screen fonts, and then uh oh yes, and where is it? show window contents while dragging, and that's it. And just click apply. And I already have everything, so it didn't do anything and then click OK. That will definitely help you. And then the second thing is, is, uh, not the second thing, the final thing will be, go here and then put msconfig. And then go to startup. And what I do is that um, normally these begin running as soon as the computer starts, which is very, very annoying. So I did. Is that, oh, why is this? Hmm, there you go. So what I do is I have it so these do not begin running as soon as you, as soon as your computer starts. And you can also look through here and see if there's anything that you do not want to start up. This can help your game performance just in general, not just in Source Engine games. So just press OK. OK, let's just exit that restart for now. I can close this. And I will be back to you one moment as soon as I am actually in game. Hello, I am back and in game. I apologize for any borders on the screen. I did my best to cut those out. It's just the recorder I'm using isn't very good for recording games at all. So, <coughs> so just create a server I'm just gonna go to asteroid since that's one of my favorite and it doesn't matter so just begin loading the world Wait a second I'll wait I'll come back as soon as it finishes loading the world okay the world is almost finished loading up oh there it goes so just join the team as you see, the cartoony border on some characters, it uh, now looks a lot simpler, and all the lines look quite jaggedy. And what's one thing the Auto EXE thing did do is that it gave you an FPS counter, so now you will be able to see how much FPS that you have always, whenever you need to. Now, if you do not like the FPS counter, then uh, go back into Auto EXEC and find CL underscore show FPS and then set that to zero instead of one that you'll see it is. Now uh note oh wait. There we go. Note that this is recording FPS that you're seeing right now, meaning it's fluctuating all over the place and I have a very bad graphics card. But when you're playing you should be noticing very, very good FPS, such as called 60 120 even this is really good for recording if well not for me this is just, this is definitely not good enough for recording for me because I have an Intel chipset in this computer that I'm using so it's really really bad so I'm gonna show you around a bit <coughs> gonna shoot oh there's a little lag spike right there oh uh,
Well, I can't really think of anything else to include in this tutorial, so thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, then leave a like and subscribe to see more videos like this. This is the Immortal Ant for us. Peace out.